And it is one beautiful Thursday evening, September 19th, 2024, Altoona, Pennsylvania. We're looking down on the uh, Norfolk Southern Railroad Pittsburgh line, originally the main line of the Pennsylvania Railroad. It is uh, 7 16 p.m. sunset time in Altoona. And we just watched uh, westbound Norfolk Southern Railroad intermodal pass by, probably heading to Chicago area, probably originated in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or northern New Jersey. And the platform is the Amtrak Altoona, Pennsylvania passenger station used by two trains a day. Amtrak number 42 eastbound, the Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Des Moines Hand Train Hall, Penn Station, New York City, and number 43 westbound, the Pennsylvania operating from Moynihan Train Hall, Penn Station, New York City to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Over here is part of the Railroaders Memorial Museum. And there's uh, in the roundhouse, there is a Pennsylvania Railroad K4S built here at the Pennsylvania Railroad Altoona Works K4S 462 under restoration. And down here, the main building of the Railroaders Memorial Museum was originally the Pennsylvania Railroad Master Mechanics Building. Over here, we have the Altoona Pipe and Supply Company that was uh, no doubt originally part of the Pennsylvania Railroad Altoona Works. And today's Norfolk Southern Railroad Juni Auto Works locomotive rebuild operation is just around, starts just around the curve. The uh, eastbound freight sitting there is uh, Norfolk Southern Railroad train 38G operates from Conway Yard west of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Abrams Yard, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And then Conrail shared assets. A freight takes most of the cars to uh, Pavonia Yard, East Camden, New Jersey. Then Conrail shared assets. Locals distribute the cars to various points in Southern New Jersey, <clears throat> such as the, uh, there were tank cars in the consist, probably some going to Paulsboro, New Jersey. And there were a couple uh, empty hopper cars with reporting marks, reporting marks HI, that's Haines, Haynesport Industrial Railroad. And they do the switching at Haynesport Industrial Park, New Jersey, Southern New Jersey, and where I grew up in Metro New Jersey. Again, a beautiful, oh, a little bit about Altoona. Population 43,963, established in 1849 by the Pennsylvania Railroad. In the early 20th century, the Pennsylvania Railroad Altoona Works employed about 15,000 people. Just around the curve today's Norfolk Southern Railroad Juniata Works locomotive rebuild operation still employs over 1,000 people. And in this direction, five miles west of here is the world famous Horseshoe Curve. And uh, the uh, assault on the east slope of the Allegheny Mountains commences here. From here to the summit of the Allegheny's Galitz in Pennsylvania, it's 1.85% grade. And uh, the uh, westbound intermodal we just saw had manned helper locomotives. They still use manned helper locomotives here had uh, Electromoto Division, General Motors Corporation, Macoke, Illinois, Plants Stroke, Norfolk Southern Railroad, Juniata Works, Altoona here, uh, SD70 ACU. These are electric locomotives still manned. And they will shove the uh, intermodal to the uh, summit of the Alleghenies in this direction at Gallitzin, Pennsylvania, then probably run light engine back here to their home base at uh, Norfolk Southern's freight yard here, Rose Yard. And he, about a couple of miles in the other direction. 
Again, Thursday evening, September 19th, 2024, Altoona, Pennsylvania, over and out.